Hi, I'm Sandra Younger, inventor of the Naughty Do It All. And there are so many really cool things that you can do with this board. I mean, ranging from, you know, you know, complex and complicated, you know, down to the very simple. And one of the things I'm going to show you right now is just how to make just a just take a regular pendant, put a moose knot, and then you know, I know a lot of you have seen this uh this sliding knot type um necklace where you have two knots and a lot of people have trouble making this but the way i'm going to show you how i do it it's super easy and you know the thing is you know when you uh, close it, it you can make it shorter like that so this would be considered um, an adjustable uh, slide necklace so let's get started so what i do with i'm using a, a twisted cord here so you got to kind of be careful when you cut it because it'll uh, fray so i'm going to take 40 inches so here's 20 40. i'm going to cut but i'm also going to be really careful to um you know put melt the uh, end of it to um, keep it from fraying so what i do is i take my pendant and i'm going to make a moose knot so I'm going to offset the cord by about four inches because if you if you have your cords even and you make a moose knot after you make the moose knot the they're, you're going to have uh, two sides that are uneven. So when you uh, add four inches to the side that you do your knotting your knot with, um, it it's more even when you're finished. So I'm going to clip this. And one tip when you're working with really thick cord, I know I do show you know how when you make the moose knot how to pull your cord through with the needle, but with really thick cord like this cord that I'm using, you really don't need the um, the needle. So what I do is I, I like to use like something that's like a lot thicker. So I'm gonna hold this like that, and I'm gonna wrap. Um, oh, let's say maybe three or four times. So one, two, three, and see when you hold it like this and you pull you know your peg out you've got a nice um, big hole in there so that you, you can feed your cord in and pull it through and let's get that there you go and then you just uh, snug this down let's get it nice and straight and then you pull the down like this so, yeah, that one, okay, okay that's good. So you gotta, some, with some cords, you gotta kinda like wiggle it around. So perfect. And now, you can see like it's a perfect knot. So to do, and now to make it a, like a slider, one thing that's really important, I mean, I already know the size of my head because I've made these necklaces so many times, but um, the reason you want to know the, uh, how big to make it is because I like making my necklaces short. So the longer this is going this way, the longer it's going to be even at its tightest. It'll, like when you close it all the way. So if, if you want it to fit up here, I just make, but it does have to fit over your head though. So, but, so what I do, so I have a pin and a clip an inch apart. This is also a moose knot, but it's, you just, it's kind of, you just kind of flip it around. It's really interesting. So I measure like 12 inches on the board because I know that 12 and 12 is 24. So then I take that one spot and then I crisscross them over at that exact spot that I just, um, so now you got the 24, but the cords are like over each other. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it in the clip right don't and make sure and keep it centered because you don't because it if you don't center it then your cords will end up being lopsided so once again I'm going to take one of my uh, this extra thick peg and I'm going to wrap uh, twice so there's one two and then you hold it take it out and then feed this side through like Oops, let's go, and I got it. Okay, see that? So what you do now is you just gently take the peg out and then like kind of tighten the, the knot down. So, and then you twist your clip around and you put the peg back in, and then you do the same thing on this side. So you just, hold your cords and then you go one 
to and then through the, all the loops just like that. Take it out. Snug it down. And there you have it. So, and, and then with this kind of cord, what you want to do is you want to just uh, cut the ends a little bit, boom, like this, and then um, kind of melt them a little bit because if you don't remember, they'll, it'll fray. But not all cords fray, so you don't have to like do this with every single kind of cord, so. And there we go. So and now you've finished this, and basically what you have, see um, how the knots are even on this side? And the reason they're even is because when you crisscrossed them, you did, didn't move that uh, crisscross. So see how this, uh, it opens? like this. And one thing you don't ever want to do when you have a necklace like this is when you pull them, don't ever let those knots meet because once they uh, butt up next to each other, they're almost impossible to uh, pull apart. So the way you put this on, you find the you know one that, that, that you, you pull that one and then it just, you just make it shorter. So this one will close all the way to the um, end like that. So. Nice. So that is this, uh, this is the, this, uh, I, I call it the sliding moose knot.